Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I want to see what's going on with you guys' finances in your career, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, we're going to get right into this. Again, this is going to be for my earth signs. We're going to try and pull on this earth energy, see what's going on with your finances and your career, what changes need to be made, and what changes are going to be coming in for you guys, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for my earth energy. Show me what I need to see. We have weight of the world. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, what's affecting your finances. What right now, present moment is affecting your finances is you holding the weight of the world, the weight of your family. You taking on a lot of additional responsibilities. There's a heavy weight. I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, there's a lot of people in your environment that are needing your assistance. There's a lot of people that you're trying to help. I feel like this is an, this is an overall energy of you just not helping yourself, but help, helping everyone else. And also I'm getting an energy of that's the weight. That's a heavy weight, but that's a weight that you need to let go of. That's a responsibility that a lot of you guys, you need to put some boundaries up with that. That's a big energy. That's a big energy. Then we have trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. I feel like Spirit is saying for you guys, time is not running out. There is time to change your financial situation. There is time to change your circumstances when it comes to your finances itself. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, if you've been, this is giving me almost a crippling energy. Like if you've been crippled by crippling others, why? Because you have been holding the slack for them for way too long. Spirit is saying that there is a time, now is the time to change those things. There's still time to change those circumstances, whereas you're not holding down the fourth for everybody. I'm definitely getting an energy. You're kind of holding down the fourth for a lot of people in your family. You're holding down the fourth for a lot of people. A lot of you guys, there's a lot of moving parts. A lot of you guys, you have a lot of moving parts when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career. It's like for some of you guys, it's like you're, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul because you're trying to make everything work out and it's putting a heavy weight on you. It's putting a heavy burden on you. Spirit is saying time has not run out. There is still time to make some significant changes. And I feel like it starts by unloading the freeloaders. There's a big energy there. It starts by unloading the freeloaders. Then we have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there are some people that's in your energy that is kind of like, it's, they know how you are. I feel like there's a big energy right now, present moment, that there's people in your energy and they know exactly who you are. You are giving, you're caring, you're nurturing, you like to take care of other people. You also like stability. It's not about just stability in your life. You like stability in other, you like you like the people that's that you love, the people that's in your environment. It's like if you're riding on a wave, you wanna be able to let them jump on that wave with you. That's really and truly what I'm getting in this energy. A lot of you guys, you're very loyal. You're loyal to a fault. A lot of you guys, you're very trustworthy. You're trustworthy to a fault, but you cannot expect that from some of the people that's in your energy for a lot of you guys the people that are in your energy right now present moment they're moochers and they're they you're dealing with a lot of people that always have their hands out 
always have their hands out. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's affecting your finances. For some of you guys right now, present moment, if there's a career change that you want to make, Spirit is saying that you can still do that. There is still time. There's definitely still time to make those changes. Bottom of the deck, we have wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. For some of you guys right now, present moment, but Spirit is saying that it's not the time to make those changes when it comes to your career. There's still time. There's still some things that are being worked out. This is giving me an energy like there's still some things that are being worked out for you guys. So Spirit is saying that now is not the time, but time is not yet up. There's still time. That's a big energy. There's still time to make the significant changes within your career, within your finances. Right now, present moment, it's not time to make grand changes. That's a big energy. Big energy. Show me spirit. What's the current conflict for my earth energies? That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What's the current challenge when it comes to finances and career? Death, Scorpio energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's like the ending, the ending for the new beginning. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's a need to end certain things. There's a need to be more disciplined. There's a need to not to not spend. There's a need for you to end something, to walk away from something, to transform your life. There's definitely a need for an ending to a new beginning. Big energy. That's your current conflict. Right now, present moment, you're having a difficult time. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is kind of waiting for your ships to come in. That's a big energy. A lot of you guys just kind of waiting. You're in a waiting posture. You're you're really and truly like really projecting more so towards your future. You're looking towards the future. A lot of you guys, the posture that you're in right now, present moment, is just kind of waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like Spirit is wanting a lot of you guys to take action. I feel like the changes that you're wanting in your life is not going to happen until you actually take action. Because I feel like this waiting needs to end to be able to transform your life. What are you waiting for? What changes? I'm getting small changes, big changes. What changes need to be made? I feel like for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, there's some grand gestures that spirit is saying right now is not the time, but still spirit is saying that you do have to take action. If you're wanting change to happen, if you're wanting to transform your life, transform your career, you need to stop waiting. I'm getting an energy of waiting for someone else to step in, waiting for someone else to tell you, oh, it's go time. I feel like there's an energy right now, present moment that waiting needs to stop for this transformation to happen in your life because go time is already here. There's a big energy where go time is already here. Give me current energy. Current energy. King of Wands. See, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of you guys right now, present moment. If you want to start that small business, Spirit is saying now is the time. If you want to become an entrepreneur, Spirit is saying now is the time. Like Spirit is saying that you have everything that you need. You have the resources, you have the fortitude, like you're the go-getter. You have, this is about you being courageous. There's a big energy right now, present moment for a lot of you guys being courageous, going towards the things that you want. This is about you taking action. This is not about you waiting for someone else or waiting for something to happen, waiting for your ships to come in. This is about you taking action. This is about you making things happen. Big energy, big energy. For some of you guys right now, present moment, and listen to your intuitions. There's a big energy here for that as well. Look at that. Look how you feel caged. This is about freeing yourself. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, this is also about like holding on. Something has a hold on you that you're needing to free yourself from. You're being caged. Some of you guys, it's like you're caged in a job. Look at that. We have the devil and we have the knight of wands and we have the... Um, nine of swords and I also have the king of swords okay <laughs> that's a big energy we also have the magician at the bottom um, that talks about manifestations right now present moment now for a lot of you guys right now present moment there is fear there's fear in going after the things that you want 
there is fear in taking action. For a lot of you guys, if you're wanting to start that small business or a new endeavor, some type of new endeavor, it's like there's some type of fear there. That spirit is saying that you need to be more courageous. More courageous. Give me a sec, guys. I feel like for some of you guys, what's affecting your finances and your career, yes, not only is it fear, but there's something that has a hold on you. You could be, you could have really and truly invested a lot of time and energy talking about education and going down a career path. And it's like now you've come down this road. We're going to say 10 plus years, you've come down this road and you're like, why did I do all this? Where am I going with all this? Because there's a sense of stagnation. For some of you guys right now, present moment, you feel stuck in, a, in your posture, your current posture. Some of you guys, you could have a mortgage, you could have kids in college, you could have responsibilities where you have tuitions for your kids, or you could have bills that's piled up on uh, bills that's piled up. And there's a big energy here right now, present moment, where a lot of you guys, you're feeling a little stuck. You're feeling a little caged in. Some of you guys, what's affecting your finances in your career right now, present moment, is that you are, you, there's something that has a hold on you. There's some, there's some obsessiveness, there's some overspending, there's some overindulgence that's really and truly dipping into your finances, dipping into your finances, even if it's you or someone that's in your environment. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, spirit is wanting you to be more courageous because I feel like there is a significant fear in you taking action towards the things that you want. A lot of you guys, like you stay up at night stressing, stressing over your finances like i feel like for some of you guys you may have judgments against you right now present moment for some of you guys you could be going through a divorce right now present moment and it's causing you so much financial strain headache loss of sleep like not knowing what you're going to do next not knowing how you're going to be able to afford everything that you have that's a big energy that's definitely, definitely a big energy. Spirit wants you guys to let go of the fear that's holding you back. There is a fear here. There's definitely a fear. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're manifesting. What you're wanting is to be a boss. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, you are manifesting becoming a boss. You're manifesting the thought, the notion like you want to be in control of your life. You want to be the your, your own authority. A lot of you guys, you don't want to work for somebody else. A lot of you guys, you want to be this big boss. A lot of you guys, you want to be center stage. You want to be the authority of your life. You want to be in control. A lot of you guys, you want to be in control of your finances. There's a big energy here. That's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting the freedom, the freedom to do what you want when you want. That's a big energy definitely a big energy look at that for a lot of you guys right now present moment like there's something here that you want but you haven't quite like for some of you guys it's like you're trying to figure out so you want to become your own boss but you're trying to figure out what do i do how do i do it you see how that fish is not there the fish is not in that cup like you just quite you you, you don't know for sure what is it that you're supposed to be doing but you do want a new beginning you see that for a lot of you guys you need to just jump in the fool a lot of you guys spirit is saying that you just need to jump in you just need to take action you just need to go for it be courageous be bold like there's a big energy of a lot of you guys stepping outside of your comfort zone taking that leap of faith some of you guys you may be starting a new journey all on your own some of you guys this is you utilizing your own savings versus you waiting on some investor or somebody else to step in and save you that's a big energy Ace of, Ace of Swords, look at that. As we speak the truth here, Nine of Wands, it's not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy. Spirit is saying it is not going to be easy, but look at that. Luck is on your side. And then we have Justice. Wow. See that? Luck is on your side. A lot of you guys, you have good karmic justice. This talks about karmic justice. This talks about the will turning in your favor. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, all it's all that's standing in your way to change your circumstances is you. That's a big energy. Like all that's standing in your way to change your circumstances is you. Yeah. Spirit is saying you need to let go the weight. 
because for a lot of you guys right now present moment there is a weight that you're holding on to you're holding on to the weight of the world meaning you're taking on everybody else's responsibilities which is delaying your progression and when i say that it's because the resources that you are utilizing for other people that's not actually adding value <laughs> like you see what i'm saying like that in itself is wasted resources resources that you yourself could be utilizing to better yourself to better your life or to multiply your own resources so probably later on down the road then you'll have more to be able to help you know my grandfather used to say that if i can't afford to give it to you then i can't afford to lend it to you you see that like that's a big energy like that's a big energy so for a lot of you guys right now present moment you're lending money that you can't afford to give because for a lot of you guys you're not going to get it back or you're not getting back getting it back it's not it's not an investment that's making a return for you that's a loss a lot of you guys that's a loss give me a sec i'm trying to drink my matcha before it gets cold because i hate it when it's cold <laughs> All right, my loves, let's see. What's the advice, spirit? What's your overall advice for my earth signs? That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It is safe to let go. See that? You are surrounded by love. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you you're scared to let go like meaning you're scared to take people off your payroll that's a big energy you're scared of not i don't know why i just got for somebody here like you taking on all the responsibilities you doing everything for everybody it's that's your see that's your own that's you caging your own self you have caged your own self you have put that burden and that responsibility on you because this is your way of controlling. That's a big energy. Like that came as strong as it could come. Like that's a big energy. I feel like spirit wants you guys to, whoever this, that's for, you're surrounded by love. I feel like spirit is wanting someone to hear like you will be loved even if you don't support someone. Even if you don't give away your finances, your money. Somebody's going to say that it's not them, then it's not you. But it's for someone. It's definitely for someone. You can't buy love. Love is not to be bought. Because then it's not love. And I feel like for somebody here, somebody here needs to hear that. Like somebody here definitely, definitely needs to hear that. You cannot buy love. I feel like there's an energy here of a lot of you guys. Whereas your resources are being drained because you are supporting people that are not reciprocating that love though. That love and that respect, they're not reciprocating that. That's a big energy. That's definitely a big energy. For a lot of you guys, you are the weight of the world is you tagging along individuals that can't afford to take care of themselves. They can't afford to add any, any value. Like, like there's no, like you're, you're dealing with people that are liabilities. Like they're not assets. That's a big energy. That's a big energy. Spirit is saying it is safe to let go. Whatever that means for you. What is it that you have to let go of? For some of you guys, it is a person. It is people. It is that notion, that thought that, okay, I can buy love or they're going to love me better or they're going to want me. Because that's a big, big energy. For some of you guys, that's your way of trying to control your environment. Spirit is saying it's safe to let go. Because that weight, those burdens that you're taking on, how do you feel? Like how, what joy is that really and truly bringing you? Is it bringing you joy? All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comments. I love every last one of you guys.